Sap, and there is power inside. Incredible. I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left, or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Oh, yes. I see. You hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
to lower the crane on my mark. I do not care. Be ready. Nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm.
Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um, oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new... Oh, oh I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just, never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... Anything to help you? Yep. What can I do for you, too? How about you, young one? to you. Okay, um, come back when you need something, I guess. Bye! Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined. Disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It just feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strangely, that one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once, but it's glowing again.
never get tired of shattering things with this. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Not long now, Ma. Look! The summit! We're so close now! Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's alright. I can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. 
will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. There must be some way up. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and... Piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we really are, we really are aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. 
Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim. Realm of the Giants. No! I could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scrape in the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the Giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a Giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body for these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose Bohan runes. Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring me back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head.
can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of us kind. Maybe the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My them? kind? I mean, your family. Before mother. Where you came from. Mother. Father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage! Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smart, you'll find him. What the fuck ever? Scare up that alchemist what needed finding. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. What happened here? Shipwreck. Well, yeah. I wonder why it crashed. So... Could you think of any stories to tell? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds... fun? Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Can we finish later? Perhaps. Vecchia. Yeah. <laughs> 
you do? What is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Whoa! He disappeared! Come. Let us not be distracted. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. We could dock the boat here. Another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Kaveka. Spirit. Hello. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? And not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy, I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you.
sorry, what did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can't we this just... This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. So, what happened with the hare and the tortoise? We will continue another time. Good. the hare and the tortoise. They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey, not to learn more about the dwarf. Just make sure you watch each other's bats in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Let's get to it. Well, if you don't need it, don't buy it. I always say. have gotten here first. Atreus, to me! 
locked. Find another entrance. made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. Expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. <gasps> Ready yourself. 
Chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Cinder's whetstone. I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. this time I saw so I should keep my expectations low but always expect an attack it is a delicate balance expect the worst assume nothing and always anticipate an attack sure is a lot to remember Yeah! <laughs> 
still no whetstone. And only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but you think we'll find it there? No. Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Mm, guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. Tasty fifus just sure can't fight. I'll give you that.
Why would his son betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Or soon nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Yes. Be ready! more focused. You, uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone, perchance? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger.
The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In the river's back. Oh. Oh. You mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the woodstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural that <laughs> stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. <laughs> See? I... <laughs> okay, back to work.